Hello and welcome to this last epoch build guide. I had made a um, video about the spring inform and now that it's changed I decided to make an update. I'm still low level on this guy, it's still level 46 but I can pretty much tell you where I'm going with it and you can then decide what you want to do. So this build works, you go in spring inform, you summon the vines, they will attack for you. They attack with the same, ab with, your, with your same ability, the spring, the spirit thorn which looks something like this and you can have up to six now it's not an infinite number anymore so the passives are you go 20 points in the primalist you want uh, you can take one point here for traveling you can put it wherever you want basically but eight attunement is really good you get the 42 spell damage increased and you get the increased health then after you get these 20 points you go into the druid and you get the seven points in endurance, seven points in attunement and all attributes plus one and one travel point I went into spirit warden for that little bit of health and mana just enough to get the summon spriggan then after that you'll go into shaman which we mastered, you master shaman in, in the build that I'm doing you go for eight attunement, eight, eight penetration, two travel points, increased minion damage you can place those whatever you want then I went for a Stormbringer, which doesn't really do anything for me, except maybe some lightning resistance, because we're going cold. And then you want spell damage. The reason I got the spell damage, even though it's lightning, our minion damage is going to be increased by minions damage. So all that base damage I'm getting, the, the 10 damage I'm getting from minion spell lightning damage, they are base and all the added minion damage is gonna be increased on it like for example my minions have uh, 257 increase the percent increased damage so that 10 damage is gonna be increased by this one by the 250 percent it it adds a lot because it's base damage then we go for uh, eight attunement and then i'm going to get the adaptive spell damage which is really good this is the only this is the reason we're going for a shaman mastery just to get the 16 increase the base spell damage after this you can go in the primalist again we want to get um, less damage taken on low health this is 25% uh, less damage taken it's really really good defensive points then we go into beast master and we get the uh, less damage taken and this is eight pointer two percent so it's 16 percent less damage taken plus the extra 25 from here <laughs> then we go into aspect of the boar which gives us 15 percent less damage taken and then we just buff aspect of the boar to gives us uh, to makes us get less damage and then after that you can put points wherever you just increase minion attack speed you can go back in the druid and get some attack speed here and just keep buffing your minions you're gonna have a lot of defense because you're gonna get so much reduced damage from boar heart etc and uh, the berserker so for abilities i went with the wolf you want to get the howl which is the only reason we have two wolves uh, chance on boss hit to get the howl which gives us increased damage don't know if we can see the howl here no but the howl basically makes us attack faster we have two wolves so it's eight percent chance to proc because for each then we're gonna the re remaining six points are gonna be into attack speed and health this is health or leech you, you decide where to add them we just want two points in here gonna have four rest gonna just spread them around in here but of course we want the extra companion second ability i got ice storms ice storms is only there for a little bit of defense so we want to get the bramble armor which gives us a 20 percent chance on hit to cast automatically because we can't when in spring form you can't cast out any other abilities so you want uh, things that proc on their own so we get 20% chance to cast, another 20% chance to cast. So it's 40% chance to cast when we get hit. 
and then you want to get the torn barrier which gives us some armor and then you just get more armor get more duration the remaining points are gonna be spread in here for more duration more armor and then maybe get uh, torn barrier recast so we get a little bit longer barrier maybe one point in here so the match 14 6 left three four five here and yeah one point in here the springen this is the new springen build the new springle tree sorry so we want to get the vines increase their damage and then we want to get the big vine because now we can the vines cap at 12 and three small vines equals one big vine so with the great one we can have six which is like having 18 small ones which is a great uh, damage increase i have one point in garden of rage just so we can keep our rage high you have to keep summoning your vines in order to have your rage this point is gonna be removed from here as soon as i can equip this belt that gives us 18 rage every three seconds this will keep you in spring in form all the time because your abilities don't cost any mana except the totem which we're not really gonna use as you see the the rage keeps going down but if i summon the vines here summon six vines this, this is the maximum i can have uh, beyond that they'll start dying six vines rage starts going up really slowly but that's all you need you don't really need to have full rage all the time you just want to stay in the form then you get uh, the hunter's bane the rest are all travel points hunter's bane which makes my my uh, vines ranged that's what we want and the difference in this new build is that the vines now shoot my spirit uh, thorns and they get buffs from the tree so we want to buff the spirit thorn uh, we want to get the this one the branching storm travel point travel point branching storm for the penetration and the chance to pierce so when they shoot their bullet they will pierce the enemy go into the next one and that helps us with aoe we struggle a bit on aoe but it's not bad we have six things shooting four bullets it's not that bad on aoe uh, the remaining six points i'm gonna put one point in branching storm gonna remove this so then i'm gonna have six more gonna mod make uh, three points in here for their attack and cast speed and their remaining three points in vine damage i am not going into rose meadow even though this increases my spirit turn damage by eight percent this one increases the vine damage by 20 percent which will result in the vines dealing more damage of course my build i'm gonna be relying on the vines rather than doing the damage myself so i'd rather buff the vines to do more damage themselves and we go frost obviously we can take a screen of the build and, and do it just just remember to remove this point here once you get the belt you won't be needing range per range per second anymore we get the spring in this is a buffer we want the most important thing to get is this one the 15 adaptive spell damage it makes a huge difference in damage the base damage is really important when build doing a build you want to get some crit i chose to go for that i went for the dodge then i'm gonna go one point travel and health get the creep creeping roots in order to block the enemies and uh, give it more duration so if something is gonna attack me the spring will just stop it in its track then the remaining points you can do go wherever you want you can turn him into cold make him summon some vines they are not the spring in vines aren't really that good because we're not going to be specking into them maybe just go for the more healing aura and more aura to minions so your minions will be stronger for the last ability the last ability honestly i don't really know what i'm gonna do yet because there's no real good one most people are going uh, the builds i've seen some people are going with the summon torn totem because you can spec that your thought healing totem uh, gets the tree skill from the torn totem but in order to get the torn totem tree skill you need to spend four points in totem warden then you'll want one point in spike totems and might as well take one point in unbound garden to summon three totems all the time but that's six points 
you can spend on your vines to make them stronger. I, I really don't think this is a good build path to take. I, I rather have my vines attacking than my totem. I, I don't really like this. Other people I'm seeing are going for a Terra Blessing, which is a heal that will uh, increase your uh, attack speed. You can make it buff and you can it keeps casting as a heal. The problem with this, in order to cast it, you need to spec into the Druid and get the Blossoming Garden. And it requires eight points in here. So a total of nine points, one travel point in Blessed Springs and eight points in Blossoming Garden, just to have a Terra's Blessing, a Terra's Blessing proc. I really don't like this. It's eight wasted point. I'd rather put in more attunement or endurance or, you know, there's a lot more of good things you can get in here. Even the attack speed in here. I really I really don't like this. The last thing people are doing are going Maelstrom just for the chance on kill to cast the Maelstrom. It's 25% chance on kill when you get 5 points. It's not horrible because uh, I think it's the least one that affects your build. You don't have to sacrifice anything to get this. Just have it as your last ability. But the thing is, your damage is gonna come from the vines. You're not really gonna be casting spirit turns yourself. You're just gonna place a couple of vines and move. Place a couple of vines and move. So they're gonna be doing all the damage. Maybe if there's a little pack, that uh, two shotable pack, you just go shoot your bullets. Maybe get a couple of stacks of maelstrom and keep going. I don't know. I think I'll go for that. Not because it's good, but because there's nothing better, really. I mean, I'll keep trying to look for something good, and if I come up with something else, I'll let you guys know. But if you have any suggestion, feel free to, to let me know. This build is still... I'm still building this build, so... I'm not really sure. But with these four abilities, springing as it is, it's going to be really strong. For gear, you want... The usual suspects, minion damage, attunement and health basically. Of course movement speed with boots. Uh, I go, we, got, we get a shield so you want some block on it, some extra block. We can get probably around 50 block chance with a better shield. And 50% chance to reduce 30% damage. It's, it's not great but it's not bad. Weapon for now, I'm using Reach of the Grave but I'm gonna change this with a... Um, what is it called with the skeletal scepter? The skeletal scepter is a scepter that gives us 60% uh, up to 60% minion damage. Um, the death rattle is really good. This is where your crits are gonna start hurting. This gives uh, your minions like 100% crit multiplier. I think max is 100. Mine one is imperfect. There's the intellect. You don't really want intellect. You don't care about that b the, that number. You, you you just want the minion crit multiplier and the uh, increased minion crit strike if, and damage if these numbers were a little bit better but <laughs> you get what you find right and that's basically it you go for vitality you look for vitality health uh, there's on head and chest there's the minion spell crit it's really good but i don't have them yet i mean i'm still leveling and the ring is really nice. You get some minion armor, you get movement speed, and the illusion tree might get a couple of hits off of you. For idols, idols you just want minion crit strike. That's it. Minion crit, minion crit, minion crit, and minion crit. And then I've put the rest. I mean here it's gonna I'm eventually gonna fit another minion crit. Another square here. Or maybe move this one down here and get another three slaughter up here it depends on what you find right the three slaughters are a little bit better than this one but it depends on what you find and the rest is gonna health and elemental resist elemental resist maybe fix your resistances at least for now i'm still low level my stats aren't really that great but eventually i'll get the boots with the fire resist the gloves are going to be the endurance one and um Relic is going to be the endurance one, so I'm getting the endurance from the relic and the gloves. Rings, you can go with uh, either the elemental resist ring or the minion damage ring. It's your choice. 
again chest and head spell crit and that's basically the build I will make an update as soon as I uh, get higher level and show you the gear better but as far as for the day I think uh, this is a good start for your character so let me know what you think of this build and good luck try it out